All right, so this is the bad switch. I am going to see if I can pry it open very carefully by inserting a blade or sharp knife in here and trying to separate the two pieces just to see what happened inside. So here is the inside of that switch. You can see there are three leads. And right now, the external leads are the ones making contact because this metal piece is touching the top. So one and three, my previous diagrams, are would have connectivity because this metal piece is touching. And then when you use the plunger, let's see, you can see that it's gonna push down, boop, and then close and make contact between the middle and the external one on the right. That's how that works. Now, I'm gonna put the ohm meter back just to see what was happening there because when I open the circuit like this, you know, we were reading some resistance before in this switch. So let's take a look if we can find out. So I put the ohm meter leads on the left, the number one in my diagram before, and then the middle. And as you can see internally, pins one and middle one are not connected, so we should read an open circuit. That's what we were seeing before, that's still what happens now. But now it should become a closed circuit when I push down here. So that's a closed circuit, and we should read zero ohms. And still reading some resistance there. It should be definitely zero ohms. I just released it. But it should really instantly go to zero. So right now I'm pressing on it. Yeah. So even though I'm pressing on it, it should be making contact. Oh, there you go. Still a little bit of resistance, should be zero. So yeah, that's definitely something in, in here that Maybe it's really dirty inside, but right now, this is definitely the culprit. You hear that dishwasher running? That's already with the new, with the new switch. So yeah. yeah. So I'm pressing on it, and that's still going all over the place. So that's definitely it should be zero ohms, and it should be steady. I guess it's a closed circuit. Let me see. See, even though I'm pressing the reading. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, something is not good with that switch. I don't know if it's the contacts already oxidated. But it's not worth looking into it anymore. We know what it is. The dishwasher is running. And a dollar eighty-three saved us at least 560 for a brand new pump which is what it would have been required to fix that f84